think about today, it happened a way back in the old part of the Bible. And I know some of you will have heard this story, maybe more than once. But it was a time, and God, it was very, very sad. And do you know why it was sad? Because people weren't bothering with him. They were doing all sorts of bad things, not bothering about God, just getting on with things themselves. And do you know what? He was actually quite sad. But do you know, there was one man, one man who obeyed God, used to pray to him, and whatever God asked him to do, he would do. And can you all see the picture? It's this man here. Now this man here was called Noah. Now Noah loved God, and he obeyed everything God said. So God was so upset one time <clears throat> that he said to Noah, I'm going to get people's attention. I'm going to send a great flood onto the earth. There's going to be really heavy rain. It's going to pour down. The rivers will come up. I'm trying to get people's attention. I think that went right it. So he said, I want you to go and tell the people. <clears throat> I want you to warn them that there's going to be this flood and see if they'll listen to me. Well, Noah tried his best, but can you see what some of the people are doing? Maybe a bit far away, but a lot of them were laughing. They thought, yeah, that'll be right. Look at the sky, not a cloud in the sky. How's it going to be rain? They just laughed at Noah. Well, Noah, he tried, he tried again. But God said, I want you to do something else, Noah. I want you to build a big boat. And you and your family will be safe if you get into that boat. But you have to still have to try and tell the people. But here he is again, trying hard. Can you see this in the background here? The starting to build this boat. And the people are saying, I think Noah's going a bit crazy. They're saying, there's no water, it's dry land, look. And look at the sky, he's talking nonsense. And do you know, they didn't listen to Noah. But that didn't put Noah off. He carried on and he carried on. And some people helped him. They built the boat away up in a big hill. And God told Noah the exact size that it was to be. It was to be really big. And this took a long, long time to build. But he carried on. Now God said to Noah, You and your family. I want you to get into this boat. Nobody else is listening to you. So I want you and your family to go into it. Now, <clears throat> see who's good at counting to see how many people are going into this boat. Right? Noah had a wife. He was married. <clears throat> he had three sons. Oh, you can't think. And they, they all had a wife each. So can everybody tell me, count the in their head, how many people are going into the ark? Spot on, Carl. This was he got the wife and then the three sons and the three then makes eight. Well, just say my son. No, you're right. No, you're right, Carl. It's eight people. That's right. There they are. There. It's maybe a bit small to see. But that was all. He said, I also want you to take two of every kind of animal into this boat with you. Now, you know how many kinds of animals there are? Birds as well. Here's a picture of some of them. What's some of the animals we can see going in? Can you see from there? Can you think? Can you see any? What have we got? Here's a kind of big one here. Elephants, uh huh. Horses. Horses. Excellent. Yes. Um, I see a zebra and a lion. Well done. Two zebras, two lions. Okay. Well done. Well done. Two flamingos. Excellent. One of my favourite animals is there. He's a bit hidden. But he's down here. He's spots. I love this animal. A leopard, we had a leopard. That's one of my favourites. Well, Noah was just two of every kind. So can you imagine the size of this ark? Yeah, 
You're the size of an elephant. So that was eight people and two of every kind of animal. Well, look how nice and bright it is. So still the people, they still laughed at Noah. What is he like? Well, the animals started to go into the ark. Now can you see anything? What's different about that picture? Um, it's cloudy and so that means Dodge to the start of what? Well done. It's a big difference from that picture, isn't it? <clears throat> and that one. Yeah. The clouds started. And you know, the animals and no one his family just get in to the ark. But God said, You need to take plenty of food with you for you and for the animals. So to gather up all the food and in the way, God closed the door. The ark was closed. Nobody else could get in. And then the rain started. It held them down. Harder than anything. We sometimes get heavy rain, don't we? But this was really heavy. So, of course, when the rain came down, the sea started to come up because it was filling with water. But what did God do with the ark or the boat? It was able to come up onto the water, was able to float on top of the water and everybody was safe inside. Many people again? <coughs> well done, well done. They were all safe inside the boat. Do you know how many days and nights that God sent rain? Anybody that's heard this story before, maybe remember? Wait to see if somebody else can get home. No, some of the older ones? No. No, no. Um, I can ten days. ten days. Oh, it was longer. It was 40 days and 40 nights. The rain never stopped. But they were nice and safe inside. But eventually, God decided that was enough. And the ark, it rested. He brought it to rest up in a mountain. But of course, they couldn't just open the door and walk out then, could they? Because there was still water. So they had to wait inside the ark for, for quite a time again. And then, eventually, God said, it's time to come out. Well, can you imagine when you opened the door, what would happen? What do you think would happen? Okay. Oh, wow. No, we, we, God had let the water all go down. It was nice and safe now. So once they opened the door, do you think they would all just stay inside? I thought, well, I think we'll just stay here. Hmm, do you think so? No, no, I don't think so. Do you think they would run out, maybe? I think they would maybe. I think all the animals would jump out, wouldn't they? Because they were so glad to get away from all that rain. But once the ark had rested, Noah and his family. Now we can count what got there's the eight people there. Can you see them? Mm -hmm. Out they came from the ark. But God sent something special. What did God send? Let us pray. Dear God, 
It is lovely to see all our friends after a long time apart. We think of all who are unwell because of the virus and pray they will soon be well again. Thank you for our homes and for food each day. Watch over our families and friends and keep us safe until we come together again. Amen. <laughs>